Georgia. I decided to do um, another sex segment because um, we have Nebit Hatch or uh, Neptune in Kuarku Sidereal Aquarius connected to the energy of Haru. And since I brought my uh, zodiac fork, the Anpu fork, Anpu is not connected to a particular constellation in Haru Scopes. Um, this tone uh, is called the zodiac tone and it represents all the zodiacs. It represents the precession of the equinox and it's for removing obstacles to our success, removing toxins and blockages. Dual Anpu removes obstacles to our success in our spiritual practice and leads souls to the narrow pathways of the Duat. <laughs> and because of the unusual connection between um, Anpu, Nevit, Het, and Haru, I decided to um, do this transition. transition. So we have Neptune, which is Nebit Het, and Sidereal Aquarius, Haru, and Anpu. Before I begin, I wanted to give a little background on these deities. Nebit Het is the twin sister of Asect. And when you've, you may have seen images of the goddesses, and they look exactly alike, except their headdresses are inversions of one another. Asset's headdress is the throne. It's one of those um, seats, you know, both like this, represents the throne. And then Nebit Het's headdress is inverted, but it also has a, um, a bowl at the top, so it's a vessel for containing water. And at Haruscopes, Nebit Het represents um, pouring out of our emotions, pouring out of our feelings with control and grace, not like a tsunami or a flood or a typhoon or a hurricane, but just gently pouring, releasing our emotions, releasing our feelings, purifying our heart. In the Hatterian tradition, Nebit Het represents the physicality, mortality, She's known as the Lady of the House, whereas Aset represents our spiritual spirituality. And they must be in balance. You've heard me talk about the um, the Caduceus, which has the double snakes moving up the central pole. And the, the snakes represents the dual goddesses, and the pole represents our soul. So we need them both to move forward. When um, Kassar, was murdered by Set, and at the time Set was married to Nebethet. And so he was murdered, he murdered Athar out of the jealous rage because um, um, Nebethet, uh, I think she must have slipped him a Mickey and um, tricked him into thinking that she was Aset. And so they, you know, they made, made love. He was thinking it was his wife. And then when he came to, he realized what had happened, he had slept with his sister-in-law. And um, that union gave birth to Anpu, the opener of the ways, our discernment to know the difference between the real and unreal. And then after Asar had been murdered, Anpu and Nebit had helped Aset, you know, um, find Asar, help bring him back to life so that she could make love to him and give birth to Haru. So it's a very unusual family relationship and also metaphysically and mystically it's very important to um, keep things in balance and keep things in perspective. Okay, So I'm making this offering a global prayer that we're able to release our emotions in a positive way without ego or anger or um, jealousy, without any fetters of set. And that we have our discernment and our victory in the redemption of the soul. Let's try this finger, it's a little further away. I think this will work better. It took me three tries to get it. <laughs> so we have Neptune, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and 
arm through the opener of the way to remove any blockages, obstacles to releasing our emotions, leading to our, the victory of our soul. Because if we forget our divinity, we'll be defeated by Set. But if we remember our divinity, we'll have victory over Set. Neptune has been in Sidereal Aquarius for quite a while. got to mention that means that um, Peru and Anku are brothers, half-brothers. Okay, now that's not working so good. Let me try the old way. I thought that would work better, but it didn't. I like that. Yeah. 